Look what has just arrived. In front of us here, we have, hopefully my dress is blurred, we have the DJI Osmo Action 4. Yes, I've got my hands on the Action 4 and today we're gonna to be unboxing it. I'm gonna check out everything that comes inside the box. I have got the Adventure Combo, the ND filters, and then we're gonna do a review video. Let's open it up. That's a satisfying noise. Let me show you what I'm seeing. This is what we have inside of the box. We've got a set of ND filters. If you're into photography or videography, you know that ND filters, they reduce the intensity of a lot of kinds of light. So if you're out in very harsh, bright sun, then ND filters are really, really useful. We've got, oh, that's cool. They sent a biking accessory kit. So I can check that one out. It looks like it is both a chest strap as well as a, a bike mount as well. So I can check that one out. And then we've got the actual camera itself, which is the Adventure Combo. The Adventure Combo, it says, comes with an extension rod, three batteries, and a battery case as well. I can't believe I've got my hands on this. Thanks to DJI for sending it out uh, so quickly. The world of action cameras has just become so mad. These things are so incredibly capable now. And I feel like the two giants of this world are DJI and GoPro. So it'll be interesting to see how this stacks up compared to uh, the latest GoPro camera, of which there'll be a new one later this year. So we've got two compartments. We've got the Osmo Action 4, and then we've got the accessories. And then we've got our stick inside as well. Now this is one of my favorite things is the way you attach these cameras to the mounts. It says the Osmo Action 4 has a one slash 1.3 inch sensor and stunning low light. So that's an even better sensor than the old camera. 10 bit and D-log for the colors, so that's even better colors, a deep freeze resistant, long life battery, 4K in 120 frames per second, also 155 degrees field of view. It's got the, uh, the quick release, the horizon study, but this is 360 horizon study, and it's waterproof up to 18 meters and has dual touchscreens, which we saw on the previous camera as well. It feels like Christmas, it really does. This is a lot of packaging. <laughs> this is the camera itself. It looks very similar to the Action 3. It feels of a similar weight. It has the same design, which you might think, oh, well, they've not changed the design. That's actually a good thing because it means that the accessories that you could use on the old camera, you're gonna be able to use on this one as well. And I feel like this is a now settled on design. This is the design that they've decided works and that they've carried on but made improvements with the camera. It says tighten lens cover before taking it into water. Let me tighten it now. Wow. Look at that sensor. The actual camera itself has a big lens on the front. On the side of the camera, you've got the on and off button. You've got a little compartment which contains a USB-C port where presumably you're gonna charge it and maybe add in some accessories. But on the other side, you've got a little hatch where uh, you put the battery in. And then underneath, you've got the attachments for these things, so that magnetic attachment. This is the protective frame, which we're just opening up uh, now. You've got a couple of screws in there. You have also got, this will be a sticky attachment of something, so you can put that on your dashboard of your car, for example. And then this one, I think, is what's gonna attach to our big stick. Yes, it is, which means that you can then attach the camera like this. And this is one of my favorite things, I think, about the DJI model of things, which is that you can attach things magnetically like this like that is the attachment like it like it's on obviously you need to screw it in which i will do now so you've got your extension rod attached to that you've got this small mount attaching the mount to the extension rod you have a screw and then that for me in my current camera has just how it's always stayed I, i've just sort of kept it like this but you can take it on and off, I guess, if you're using different attachments, but I mainly will use this one because I'm mainly using it for vlogging. But then you can then attach your camera on top like that, magnetically, and there's a quick release. So if you want to release the camera, you click these two buttons and the camera's off. It saves the monotony of unscrewing and screwing a camera every single time you want to take it off or use it or, or do something with it. So that is, is the setup. That's what this is going to look like. Inside of here, we have some more accessories. We've got our USB-C to USB-C charging cable, very handy. We have got, this looks like another one of those. So this looks like another one of these um, magnetic screw locking systems. I guess good to have another one. Don't know why I've got two. And then I've got my battery pack charger, which has got a case, which is quite a sleek looking case, which contains three batteries, which look like they're already charged actually. 
and then I can charge this using that USB-C cable supplied, which is good because with these sort of cameras, you're gonna need lots and lots of batteries because you use them a lot. This is a different kind of lens hood. I don't know when I'll be using it, but I guess I, I should probably check that one out. Some safety guidelines, so uh, you know what to do with those ones. Next up, I'm gonna open up the ND filters. Uh, I've never had a set of ND filters with an action camera before, and I had the uh, Osmo Action 3 as well, so I'll be uh, interested to see the difference that this actually makes. That is a cool case. If you have ever seen a cool case, this is the one. It feels like, you know, in a film when a bad guy opens up a briefcase full of cash. That is literally what this feels like. There are three Pretty sexy looking ND filters in here, each of them with different numbers on. I don't know enough about videography to be able to tell you what these numbers mean, but hopefully this will explain it to me. It doesn't explain it to me, but I will find out for you. Okay, so I guess the number corresponds to how many stops of light it can block, and uh, the ND8 can reduce it by uh, one eighth, so it can reduce it by three stops of light up to uh, the 16 up to the 32, which is, I guess, the one you'd use in the brightest condition, which makes sense. Bigger number, more light blocking. I'm gonna need to try it to see what it's actually like. Now I'm opening up the biking accessory kit. We have got a chest strap mount and a handlebar mount as well. I actually have a scooter and a bike, so it will be cool to, uh, to try this handlebar mount out. That is very cool, actually. I like that. So this is gonna clip onto your scooter or your bike or whatever you're on. So this is gonna unscrew enough for you to be able to put that along the handlebars. And then once that's in, you're gonna screw this on. Many, many screws. So that's your handlebar mount. Comes with another screw. It comes with this thing, whatever this thing is. I wonder if this is to put on your bike so it means it doesn't scratch the handlebars. So um, that's what comes in there. And finally, the chest strap. Um, I've not often used chest straps, but it will be cool to try it out. I think especially, you know, out and about using it hands-free. So that is your chest strap. So that's going to over the back. Try to put it on. Probably been useful if I'd uh, loosened it a bit, but uh, uh, release me from this hell. <laughs> this is the uh, the chest strap. And then um, this is our mount that goes on top of there. And the way that's gonna work is we'll put the device inside of the cage and we'll stick it on there. And, uh, and yeah, another cool little accessory. I look forward to using it out. This is everything that came from DJI. It's gonna take me a while to sort it out, to test everything out. But once I have, keep an eye on the channel, make sure you're subscribed for the review video. Take care guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I was definitely opening that the wrong way.